Hi, I'm Dave Withrow, publisher of American Bagger Magazine. We've got a new monthly feature that we're doing on our website, AmericanBagger.com, that's brought to you by Screaming Eagle Films. It's called Tech Time. Once a month, we're going to give you real-world tech that you can do at home in your garage. Enjoy. Okay, today we're going to install Hog Halter's new brake caliper, and they actually worked with Road Lock. They specialize in locking your motorcycle up. Basically, the way it works is they send a, a, a plug with the caliper that your key lets you remove. You can just stick that guy in your pocket while you're out walking around. But this guy slips in and actually goes through one of the holes on your rotors and allows you to lock up your bike. Pretty simple install. Basically, all you need is a 3H wrench and a 10 millimeter. 12 point socket with ratchet. Start by just removing the brake line, which will make a little bit of a mess. Um, you might have to re bleed your brakes when you're done, but chances are you're not going to have to if you can just hold your brake line up in the air so it doesn't bleed off all the pressure or all the fluid, I should say, out. With the brake line removed, we'll start taking the caliper off. Start by just getting them loose. Most Harleys don't have shims or anything behind the, the calipers, so you should be all right. Once two bolts are out, you can carefully slide your caliper out, and you can actually get it past the fender without messing up any of the paint. The new calipers come with, with little uh, plastic plugs in them. You can take that and actually put it in the stock caliper so it doesn't make such a mess when you lay it up on the bench. So this is the non-locking of the, of the hog halter's brake calipers. Place it around the rotor, and just slide it up into place. Now you can see that we're gonna need spacers on this one, which are provided with the kit. Hold your spacer in, and we'll place a little bit of blue thread locker on the bolts. Holding the caliper and spacer in place, and using the hog halter's bolt with some blue thread locker on it, Hold the caliper in place. That requires a 5 16 Allen. Okay, we'll get our brake line back down. And we'll remove the, the Harley banjo bolt. And we'll use the banjo bolt from Hog Halters with their copper crush washers. We'll start the banjo bolt into the caliper. You'll want to kind of hold your brake line. You, know, it's, you can see it swivels a little bit, but wherever it goes, wherever it wants to be, is where you kind of want to lock it down at. Just make sure you're not hitting any paint or Now we're ready to check the fluid level and make sure there's no air in the lines. Okay, we're just going to check the fluid level quick. When you pull your lines off, you lose a little bit of fluid just from when it drains. And then you'll also lose what fluid was in the, cal uh, the stock calipers. Once everything's installed, you can see how the, how the locking mechanism actually works. You simply put your key in, turn it to the right, pull out the, the dummy puck, and all you have to do is slide in the locking mechanism. Lock that into place, and your rotor's locked. They also send along the handy little yellow road lock flag so you know that your your brake your, your rotor's locked up. <laughs> 